Welcome to DWBI Adda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Welcome back everyone. In this video we will be checking some remaining visualization types. So let's create an empty dashboard. Upon creating the dashboard, let's select some data. So this is the data I have used in my previous report I think. So let's add this data. So for now I think we have checked all the visualizations except last two pivot table and bullet chart so in this video session we will be checking these two type of visualizations so pivot table are quite uh, simple to use and they represent some good information in quite simple manner so what it will do is okay so the data I have is I have the data of the uh, six months I think in my table so the data every month have hundreds of rows so like for January there are I think 300 rows and for February I think the number of rows are 400 so what the pivot table do is pivot table we tell the pivot table that this is the column we need to use so pivot table simply aggregate all the attributes as in correspondence to that column which means that it simply adds all the rows of the month of January and shows stats of that rows uh, let's say if you are working on a e-commerce store and you have an excel sheet the excel sheet has 365 rows and every single row corresponds to the every single day of the year so what you want to do is you want to check the number of sales for the month of january february march and so on so you want the number of sales in 12 different rows each uh, each row representing one month so what the pivot table will do is pivot table will simply aggregate all the 30 days of january and it will show you the sum against the january and same is the case with february march and april so here it is doing the same thing that for the month of December it has the number of rows I think approximately 600 so what it is doing is it is uh, it is summing over all the uh, performing sum over all the 600 rows and showing the result of the sum uh, sum operation and same is the case with January February so it is showing that the for the month of January the Airbnb have uh, the profit or I don't know the sales or whatsoever is 353412 this number so this is the case with uh, pivot tables if I try to further elaborate to you okay so let's say we have so the row dimension is arrival so arrival means the arrivals of guests like for the month of December January February March and so on so arrival is the month that in the month of uh, December how many guests are arrived in the booking.com via Airbnb and from other portals so this is the row dimension this dimension tells us that we need to sum over all that all the rows with respect to this attribute so this is actually the row dimension column dimension is source so sources are booking.com airbnb or come to cape town or some other sources so metric is total booking so you want to uh, sum the total booking against all the months with respect to the sources that which in which month with respect to uh, airbnb or with respect to come to cape town.com this is the number of uh, total bookings or total profit or any metric you have used so if i try to use the stay uh, column as a metric so it will show you the number of stays or the number of people who are staying or whatsoever the attribute is telling us so it will show this attribute total number of booking this and the number of people staying in the room so these three are the sources these are the total bookings and the stays so this is actually the pivot table like if I try to show you this is the case that on the month of month of December totalbooking.com have provided this amount against the total booking or total booking amount is this one okay so total booking so these two columns are showing us that uh, against this source total booking and stays uh, values are these ones so airbnb preferred or uh, booking.com so i think i have tried to uh, show you some good idea what the pivot table is that pivot table aggregate the rows with respect to the row dimension and the column dimension is telling you that the what is the source so against which attribute you want to uh, 
aggregate the things like hairbooking.com, airbnb, come to capetown.com are all the sources and in the sources you have two matrices you want to check that the first one is total booking second one is stay so same in the case with airbnb so first one is total booking second one is stay come to cape town first one is total booking and second one is stay so this is actually pivot table so in broad sense pivot table simply aggregates the rows or the columns with respect to certain attributes so the other pivot table is same but it has some rather than showing the digits or the numbers it is showing us the data in, in the form of bars so the bar whose length is greater is showing us that its value is higher the bar whose values are smaller so it is telling us that its value is smaller so the third one of pivot table is with heat map so heat map is simply it show you the colors uh, changing colors like the attributes where the the values are high so it is showing us darker color the values which are lower so it is showing us the lighter color so all these three pivot tables are showing us the same thing but in different manner this one shows us the digits or numerical values the second one is showing us the bar length that either the bar length is small or large so it is showing us that the month of may the booking.com have uh, the less data or the less uh, numerical uh, digits or the month of February have highest or here the Airbnb have highest in December so this is how you can check your data uh, in the third case it is showing your data in the form of heat map that the uh, that the cell where the value is highest it is showing you darkest color or the intensity of the color is higher where the data numerical attribute the value of numerical attribute is higher so these are three different type of pivot tables if I try to show you the styling of these so you can simply change the styling the table header so let's say you can change the table head text color increase the size of the font change the font type like let's say we will set the type to this one so it is changed table color you can set the table color or whatsoever I think it has so this is the table header the cell borders are changed highlight color so highlight color is changed so whenever you over the mouse over so the color will be changed odd rose color you can change the odd rose color as well as even rose color okay so table headers number numeric okay so number heat map you can also manually change the format like either you want to show the numbers or heat map or bar so these are the attributes matrices metric one metric two here the metric one is uh, total booking metric two is stay so you want to if you want to set one of the metric as bar and second as number so you can do so so if you change it to the bar so the first metric is changed to the bar and second metric is still the in the numeric format so the background color and all these are the um, different type of styling features same is the case with these two uh, remaining pivot tables so okay so the last one is okay so the bullet charts or the bullets they are quite simple to interpret they don't uh, need multiple attributes what they actually do is let me show you if you look uh, closely you can check there are three different colors uh, the one is you can check the bar in the blue color in the background you have two color, two, uh, two different gray color intensities this one is higher and second one is lower uh, gray color so what it is showing us that currently you are here and you want to achieve this thing and this is the phase one which is completed so it usually shows you uh, your target and your uh, current progress so if I let's suppose if I change the attribute metric to the commission so it is showing us that uh, we are currently here and what we have already achieved is the one which is in gray color and we need to go to the point 2 so here you can check that uh, 2 is the point where we should reach so if I try to show you here okay so it is not giving us that much information I think but still people use this 
so it is showing us the value at current position that it is 155 or something which appears so the bullet chart simply shows the target that this is our target we are currently here and what we have already achieved so it is like a, a progress chart you can also say so its styling is quite simple you can simply try to hide or show the axis compact numbers so for now you don't have compact number decision uh, decimal point precision if you do change it to zero so all the numbers will appear in the uh, whole number range or natural number range but if you change the precision so it will be changed font family you can change the font family to this one so the axis are changed so this is from pivot tables and bullet charts so you can use them in your visualizations you can uh, I most of the time use pivot tables in my visualization because they uh, show us the data in aggregated form which is quite useful you can check that uh, the, for example if you have hundreds and thousands of rows for us for against a specific month or against a specific date you simply use pivot table and group them together and show their sum so you don't need to write an excel formula to calculate the sum of all those rows what you do is to simply uh, use pivot table and it will automatically aggregate those rows so this is from so these are all the stylings we have applied we have not applied any styling on the second or third pivot table then this is from bullet chart where you try to show your target uh, point and what you want to achieve and what you have already achieved so these are the final visualizations we need to cover in our video so in next video we'll try to check some other features and wrap up things okay thank you so its styling is quite simple you can simply try to hide or show the axis compact numbers so for now you don't have compact number decision uh, decimal point precision if you do change it to zero so all the numbers will appear in the uh, whole number range or natural number range but if you change the precision so it will be changed font family you can change the font family to this one so the axis are changed so this is from pivot tables and bullet charts so you can use them in your visualizations you can uh, I most of the time use pivot tables in my visualization because they uh, show us the data in aggregated form which is quite useful you can check that uh, the, for example if you have hundreds and thousands of rows for us for against a specific month or against a specific date you simply use pivot table and group them together and show their sum so you don't need to write an excel formula to calculate the sum of all those rows what you do is to simply uh, use pivot table and it will automatically aggregate those rows so this is from so these are all the stylings we have applied we have not applied any styling on the second or third pivot table then this is from bullet chart where you try to show your target uh, point and what you want to achieve and what you have already achieved so these are the final visualizations we need to cover in our video so in next video we'll try to check some other features and wrap up things